right. All right. Oh, God. Uh, mm. What's up? Welcome back, everyone. So, For Honor is one of those games that I just look at and I go, I have a feeling that game is going to be freaking huge when it comes out. And, uh, you know, it's not a first-person shooter. It's not Overwatch. It's not a game made by Blizzard. It's uh, not a quirky little indie game that has a little niche that might actually find its way to, like, millions of children all around the world. For Honor is a game made by Ubisoft. Um, and it's a multiplayer-focused game, even though it is going to have its own single-player stuff. And it just seems to me like it has some some fan energy behind it that not a lot of games have and I think it's because of the uniqueness I think it's because of the dev team the, the passion that they show for this game and it shows in the game play as well um, and I just think that because of the mechanics and the way they actually make the the combats feel a mix of simulation but a mix of also like arcadiness and fun and nice little balance between the two. So the game's uh, the game's coming together really nicely. And of course, there's a live reaction to a cinematic trailer that they just released, and it's amazing. So here's my live reaction for it. And I said live reaction many times, and I'm just gonna stop saying live reaction. I'll... What are you? There were no signs. It came without. Another CG trailer. Um, ooh, whoa, whoa. What the hell is happening on screen right now? This is crazy. Just look at the craziness on screen right now. Wow. Okay. Wow. The desperate few struggled. Is this for honor? This is for honor. Oh my god, this is oh my god, this is gonna be so good. Okay. Perhaps we had a chance for peace. But desperation and trust are seldom allies. <laughs> Oh, this looks so good. Really good shots as well. Yeah, this is definitely For Honor. Really cool cinematic trailer, man. Oh my god, I want to be a Viking. Oh. Shit. Oh, here we go again. Come on, boys. I like that he just like lays it on his elbow. It's like here they still stand searching for a sign of peace I will show them I am Apollyon Oh shit 
Oh, I just got chills. Woo! For honor, man. So cool. Oh, I love this guy. I love this guy from last year. This dev is so just energetic. I love it. And I love the way he talks as well. All right, so you guys already know how I feel about cinematics. I'd rather see gameplay. And that's always going to be the case no matter how cool the cinematic is. But that doesn't... That doesn't negate the fact that cinematics are like little short films that are awesome, right? That are great to look at. If, if they made a cinematic Star Wars thing, I'm going to watch it because it's going to be awesome. But, you know, gameplay is just always better. It's always envisioning yourself actually playing the game is 100 times better than actually seeing a pre-rendered, not a pre-rendered, but, it's, you know, computer-generated images that are very crafted and, and it's nothing of representative of what you're actually going to play. But sometimes they do give a little hints into, you know, weapons and mechanics and certain designs and looks that, you know, either a Viking or a samurai or something might have. And this trailer was really, really well done. Um, it kind of reminded me of the tone of, of, a, of a, okay, it's not literally what I'm trying to say, but like a League of Legends trailer. Um, where you do have multiple characters, very different, and you kind of either, sometimes you'll see like one in a forest, and then you'll see another one there, and it's kind of quiet for a second, and then they kind of look at each other, and they know they have to battle, and then this whole crazy battle scene happens, and that's kind of what this felt like. It it, it had a combination of, you know, like the crumbling world, what had happened to it. Um, at the very end of it, you kind of see somebody took rise in, you know, somebody took the power away from everyone and it seems like that's going to be probably the main villain and uh then we get obviously you know a look at viking the samurai the knights and um i'm just really really excited to finally choose a faction and stick with it even though i still haven't made my mind i keep on jumping back and forth deciding which one but it seems to me like uh like we're going to be able to at least play all of them in the single player campaign. So we'll see how it all works out. It doesn't feel the kind, like the kind of game that we're only gonna be playing as a Viking because that doesn't make any sense. If you have options, then give me options. So maybe it's a Battlefield 1 type of situation where you're jumping from one area to another area to another area. But yet again, when, um, when we see the single player stuff, which I'll show later um, in another video, which I'll, obviously I did a live reaction for, uh, it's just uh, this game is just on another level in terms of, uh, uh, what they're trying to do with multiplayer. You're putting yourself in a unique setting. You're playing these not necessarily mythical people, but um, definitely, you know, these these warriors, these soldiers from back in the day going even further back using swords and stuff and using swords in kind of a realistic and visceral way. And I kind of like that. Um, so I think that's what For Honor is going to be. It's, a, you know, it's I, I my biggest question is, um, is, what is the package overall? How many maps? How much content does For Honor have in order for me to justify paying $60 for it? That's going to be the big question. But as far as the cinematic goes, it, it covered a whole ton of stuff that I wanted to know. Um, mostly stuff that's contained into the single player, right? Uh, obviously, you know, it gives incredible CG images of, of, of crazy war battles and between samurais and stuff and then a more intimate one where it's just three of them kind of circling each other and fighting each other which was really really cool um, and then you get a glimpse of the of the villain and uh, the crumbling world it's just really really gives you context for everything that's happening so I'm glad they did that um, and of course again I'm doing a live reaction to the uh, or I did already a live reaction to the um, to the single player demo that they showed off and I'll have analysis and discussion for that as well So please go check out that video, but as far as the CG trailer goes, it's awesome I always like them, but of course I prefer gameplay So let me know what you guys think about the cinematic trailer for For Honor Kind of like an official E3 2016 trailer showing off kind of the 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 lore and what's actually happening in this world and that's exciting uh, because whenever you have an interesting kind of backdrop for what's going on it makes the single player campaign just that much more interesting so let me know what you guys think of course if you hate me you know what to do if you like me you know what to do and if you love me damn fuck it i love you back all right i'll see you guys later